If you use social media, chances are you've been victim to a social cyber attack. If you look at posts on political events, chances are 20 to 50% of those are coming from bots. So imagine that you're sitting down in the morning and starting to read your social media. In it, there are a large number of posts and you've never really paid attention to climate change. But all of a sudden, there's many, many posts about climate change, why it's a hoax, why your local politician is supporting, you know, the climate change hoax and so on. Chances are you've been attacked by a bot. A bot is simply a little piece of software that, unlike human, can send messages out really, really fast to lots and lots and lots of people, can send them much faster than people can, and they're software, so it doesn't have to sleep, so it can operate 24-7. So let's imagine that you want to go see the latest superhero movie. So you go onto social media to try to see what posts are there and what people are saying about it. And all of a sudden you notice that there's these very negative statements about the movie. Well, movies get bad reviews all the time, but these ones are, you know, written in all caps, and there's a lot of abusive terms in them. That's a troll attack. Trolls are simply human beings who join groups and try to disrupt the group. And so they tend to use abusive language, hate speech, they tend to engage in disruptive behavior, belittling behavior, making fun of the people in the group, and so on. Here at Carnegie Mellon, I and my students in KSOS are busy trying to develop new techniques, tools, and a better understanding to help make people more secure in social cyberspace. We are developing new techniques for identifying bots, for identifying trolls, for identifying and watching the spread of fake news, and counter maneuvers to identify how to stop it. In order to understand all this, we're actually employing new techniques from dynamic network analysis, as well as from machine learning, artificial intelligence, and natural language processing. When you get a post, look at the source. If there's a typo in it, then chances are that it's coming from a fake news site or a non-legitimate site. What you wanna do is you wanna use fact checkers. There's a lot of them out there, if it's something looks weird, check it on a fact checker site. So if you're in a group where the language is getting incredibly abusive and more vitriolic, just go away from the group. Let the bots just talk to themselves and have bot wars and troll wars with each other. The other thing that you can do is if you actually encounter a troll, don't engage. Stay calm. They feed off of your angst and your anger. On the other hand, if someone is spreading false news and false information, call it out send out a message. We have found in our research that when people just join together and call out fake news, it shuts it down very quickly. If you take part by following the guidelines that I suggested, then you can work with us to actually help increase our nation's cybersecurity and lead to a more informed democracy.